All right, here we go. Question number 11 from our college algebra homework number two in my lab math. We have another rational equation that we're going to have to solve for Z. So I've got that written down up here. Uh, let's get started. I'm going to try to use my kill off the fraction technique, which means that I have to get every denominator to be identical. So we're going to go through and look at every fraction to see what each denominator needs so that they have the same stuff. And so what I notice is that the first denominator needs the z minus 5 that the second denominator has. So again, the first denominator needs the z minus 5. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. The middle denominator does not have the z by itself, so he needs the z. Again, whatever I do at the bottom, I have to do at the top. And the last denominator needs the z minus 5. So we're going to do that to the top. And now if you go through and look at all the denominators, you're going to see that every denominator now has a z and a z minus 5. And so once all the denominators are identical, you can effectively eliminate them. And now we're going to have a new equation with no fractions. So we're going to have 60 times z minus 5 minus 60z equals 2 times z minus 5. That is our new equation with no fractions. All right, so here we go. Distributing the 60 and the 2, that's going to give me 60z minus 300. 5 times 60 is 300. Minus 60z equals 2z minus 10. 2 times 5 is 10. And then combine like terms, 60z minus 60z, those are going to cancel. I'm going to go ahead and bring the negative 10 over so that it can get with the 300. That's going to give me negative 300. That's going to become plus 10 equals 2z. Negative 300 plus 10, that's a negative 290. And then if I divide both sides by 2, so that we can get the z by itself. Uh, again, using our handy dandy calculator just to make sure 290 divided by 2, 145. So that's negative 145. And that should be our answer for z. Let's check it out negative 145. Bam! So, oh, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.